there's been many natural disasters occurring in Malaysia, from flash floods to landslides. When these disasters happened, we all had no hope. It was impossible to solve the questions behind those massive floods. But today, we are here to bring hope. Hope to stop these natural disasters from happening. We are the guardians of Malaysia. Hello, my name is Damiras and my partner name is Aiden. We are from Rubber Falls Academy. Our team name is the guardians of Malaysia. Now, let's look at our game. Now, I'm going to introduce our game that we developed using M-Block. Our game is called Venturing for a Sustainable Malaysia. It'll teach our players how to sustain our Malaysia's economy without sacrificing the environment and causing floods in Malaysia. Malaysia. As lumber is one of our country's main source of income, we can't avoid deforestation. However, we can control the amount of logging. We need to cut the right amount of wood or exceed certain number. Flood may happen. If the player passes the first stage, the player needs to choose how much lumber needs to be processed by the factory. When the player choose too many lumber to process, the factory will emit too much greenhouse gas and eventually flood, flood happens too. Next, we need to prevent the rubbish produced by the factory go into the water. If too many rubbish drops to the water, flood happens too. After the player pass the, all the stages, the player will win the game. However, when flood happens, the game players need to collect the correct items to escape the flood. They will survive the flood if they collect the correct items, else they will, play with, they will lose the game. Now, I'm going to introduce the hardware for this game. I'll be breaking this explanation into two parts. The aesthetic part and the technical part. I'm going to start with the aesthetics. We needed to find the proper materials for our build. We chose polystyrene for the body as it's very convenient to use. Then, we wrapped it with adhesive colour paper. We printed a wonderful and colourful background of Malaysia for the background followed by a 3D printed character as the model that will be standing in a container at the middle of the whole setup. Now, moving on to the technical part. These are the buttons to control the sprite in the game. These are the X and the tree to simulate the cutting down tree feature in the game. We have placed an infrared sensor on the tree. So when the X touches the tree, the tree in the game will also be cut. Here, we have a water pump motor that will pump the water to indicate a flood. Here, we have specifically used the character Luffy as he cannot be placed in water. Thus, if there's a flood, he will die. Now, let us show you how to play this game. We, the Guardians of Malaysia, have built a game that educates the community of Malaysia, or possibly the world, that we need to take action to save the environment as fast as we can, as the entire world is currently in a do-or-die situation. I'd like to end with a famous saying. 
It's our duty to protect the environment's beauty. Thank you.